Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited to take a dive into Moira Cosmetics. I have a few products here, almost a full face, that I'm going to apply. I will put this look together and let you know my thoughts. I've been hearing a lot of hype about this brand online. I wanted to check it out. So if you're ready to check it out with me, then just keep watching. I did put a couple of things on my face that I did not pick up from Moira. I of course will have them listed in the description box below along with all of the other things that I'm putting on my face today. And the first thing I'm going to get into is the concealer. This is the Mega Concealer. I got mine in the shade 100. It says it's going to fight dark circles, redness and other skin imperfections with just a dab. It is waterproof, long lasting, sounds good to me. I tried to watch a couple of videos to see what were the most recommended and I heard some really good things about this one. You know I am super fussy about concealer. So let's go ahead and try this out. I forgot my damp sponge. I'm gonna try using a little bit less fluffy brush. This one is from Alter Ego. And I'm just gonna focus this on my deepest, darkest areas. And then I'll blend it out from there. Ooh, so far it's looking good. I'm gonna take a bigger brush. This is from e.l.f. This is their putty bronzer brush. Very little. And I'm just gonna blend it out the rest of the way. I'm liking it. I did also pick up a powder. This is their Soft Focus Waterproof Setting Powder. Packaging of these are beautiful. This is in the shade 200. Look how pretty that packaging is. I'm gonna put some on my puff. I hate to mess up that pretty design. Tapping it on the back of my hand and then I'm just gonna very lightly go under looks pretty I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of the face looks like it might be a little light so I'm just gonna set the center very blurring I like that I like that a lot might be a little dry for the under eyes but we shall see I picked up a signature ombre blush, and this is in the shade Soft Berry. It was so hard to pick shades. They all look so pretty on the website. Ooh, let's open it up. It's got like an ombre and some pretty shades in there. Like I said, I do have bronzer on. I just put cream bronzer on. So I'm going to, I'm just gonna swirl all around. Hopefully it's not too pigmented. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that's so pretty. Ooh, she is blushed. Blush is the first to fade though, so I always go a little heavier with the blush. I am so excited to get into this eyeshadow palette. You know eyeshadow is my passion, and I grabbed this one. It looks like a book, and it says, you had me at makeup. <laughs> it's got a little opener here, then you open it up. Ooh, there's a protector for the shades, and then this little card that is a checklist. It says, today's look, girl's night. Nude is mood, date night. I'm thankful, today's goal. How cute is that? And then in the palette, we've got a mirror. And look at these shades. Oh my goodness. A neutral lover's dream. I wanna swatch it. Here are the first two rows. Look at that glitter, oh my goodness. They look beautiful. And then here is the top row. Oh my goodness, there's only one shade. I love that purple shade. But all of the other ones look gorgeous. 
I'm going to start with this beautiful right in the top middle and I'm going to use this brush here I believe it was from my Beauty Bay collection so I'm gonna go into beautiful the names are gorgeous by the way there's mood beautiful glam me precious vintage but this first shade is going to be beautiful I'm gonna take it right into my crease my eyes are misbehaving a little bit today they've been irritated so hopefully they do not run and affect this eye look because I have high hopes and I don't want me to be the problem. So it's a nice pretty transition shade. I'm going to take that same shade under the eyes. It's a good starting point. Now I'm going to go into my refer number 14. and This me shade almost looks like it has some shimmer to it, but I don't think so. I'm gonna go into me. I'm gonna build that up on the outer corner and just pull it up into the center. A little bit of kickback in the pan, but I am heavy handed. Go back into that original brush and just make sure everything is blended. And that lighter shade peaks above. I'm going to take my little e.l.f. This is from the Mint Melt collection and I'm going to go back into that me shade and put it a little bit closer to the lash line. I'm going to go into a shimmer and then I'll decide if I want to deepen that outer corner even more. This is Smile. This is Spicy. And this is Stay. I think Spicy matches the mauves in my shirt the best, so I'm going to go into Spicy even though it looks like it could be messy. That's okay. It's the softest shimmery one in here. It looks like it's got lots of different shades going on. But you know me, I'm going to go for the craziest glitter first. That looks like the most fun. Well, that's pretty. I'm going to take a flat brush into that and just make sure that I've gotten all the way up on my lid. Make sure we have sometimes your fingers not as precise as you'd like it to be. The sad thing is it's so soft I almost look like I've hit pan in there. So I'm going to play more with the shimmers and I of course will keep you posted because I want to play more with this palette. I'm going to go in with this AOA 134 really small brush and I want to go into this looker which is this black shade and I'm going to very carefully go into that outer corner with it. It's pretty inky black. I'm just going back in with that refer brush that had the deeper brown in it. I'm just blending over the edges and then I want to have those two shades blend together a little bit. So I think I'm gonna take a little bit of that Stay, which is this more silvery shade, and I'm gonna use that to blend these two together. Oh, I like that. I'm tempted to completely go over the eyelid with that shade. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm going in with the Stay shade, and I'm going to go all the way across. Maybe that middle one's meant to go on top rather than be used as a base. A lot of times they use different formulas. I'm going to take another small brush from that Timu. I'm going to use the Me shade underneath. While on the website, I grabbed the Moira Statement Gel Liner and I got mine in the shade black and I <laughs> and I also picked one up in white. Pretty packaging. It is a twist up, which my sensitive eyes appreciate. Seems to be gliding on easily. I'm going to go ahead and do my waterline on both sides as well. 
Let me add a little bit of the white in my inner corner, see if it shows up, as well as my BH or my Morphe. little brighter. I think I need to cool this eye look down a little bit. So I'm going to go back into this palette and this shade called Good Looks looks like a very neutral brown shade. Leaning cool. Yeah, I like that. Make sure you're looking at the whole picture and make sure that the colors are blending the way you want them to. Now I'm going to go underneath the eye. I have a little BH pencil brush with that same shade. I'm going to go in with a little mascara, my L'Oreal and Milani. I will post pictures and I'll be right back. We have a couple more products to play with. I'm back. Mascara is on. Let's move on to lips. I picked up a lip liner and this one is their must-have lip liner and the shade that I got is 004 Warm Toast. Pretty. It went on creamy, smooth. I like the tone. Good. And then I picked up this matte liquid lip and the shade of this one is 34 Seeker. I love a good long lasting lip. Oh, reminds me of my Sephora collection that I love so much. We'll see how it compares. Very pretty. Oh, I like that. Let me finish up the hair and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. I did forget two things. I picked up a setting spray. This is the Timeless Setting Spray Long Lasting Matte Finish. Oh, here's what's interesting. It's the Timeless Setting Powder, but it's a spray. So I'm not sure. I'm going to shake it up and I'm gonna try it out. I am all about a good setting spray. I also forgot that I picked up one of these liquid eyeshadows. This is the Diamond Days Liquid Shadow and I got the shade Top Notch. Do I dare put a little bit on the inner corner? I think I should. I kind of love it. Yay! Let's go over the products that I tried. The concealer, I think I like it. It gave a good amount of coverage. I need to see how it wears. The powder, I liked not 100% how it's going to be as far as keeping me matte. I kind of look a little shiny right now. I will add a little bit more in a second. The blush, A+, plus, loved it. Super pigmented, so make sure that you are light-handed. The eyeliners, so-so. They're not blowing me away with their inkiness, but they look like they will do a good job. Of course, I will keep you posted with my favorites and fails at the end of the month. I will continue to test out these products. The lip liner and lipstick, absolutely. The lipstick is light as air, went on moussey, set, doesn't feel drying. I think this is going to be a winner. I love this nude lip combination, yes. The eyeshadow palette, I'm not sure. It's a little bit dusty and I think my eyes, because they were just a little bit irritated today, did not appreciate the, the dust flying. Negative was the fallout. Positive was that it wiped right away. I still love this color story. I still cannot wait to play more in it. So I will keep you posted. I have a good feeling about it. It's not an out of the gate I love, but I think it's good. This liquid shadow, I can tell it's going to be great. I will let you know if when I wear it another day, I won't just put it in the inner corner, which by the way, if you have a glitter eyeliner or a glitter shadow that misbehaves as far as creasing and stuff, do it just in that inner quarter of your eye and then it doesn't really have a chance. When it goes all the way over, you're gonna have more of a chance of it moving. If you stay right in that area, you have a better chance and then you get to use the product. I'll keep you posted on the setting spray. I have my Dior backstage that I just put in my shop my stash 
and it is not the most mattifying foundation so hopefully this setting spray will do good things the skin looks good oh i said i would add more powder let's go ahead and do that if i can find my puff and sometimes the setting spray can add a little more luminosity to your face just for a more natural look and i really only like it matte right here but i do like how blurry that is I hope that this was fun for you. Let me know if you've tried Moira, what your favorite products are. I had fun playing. I would be interested in trying more. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing before you leave. I would love to have you join me. I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Of course, if you had some fun, give the video a thumbs up, and I look forward to speaking with you in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.